Good morning, welcome to Ebony Ivory Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you this 2012 62 plate Ford Focus 1.6 TDCI ZTEC finished in Panther Black. This vehicle in particular has one previous keeper on the V5 and the HPI report and has four service history boasting approximately eight service stamps. First things first, I'm going to zoom out and do a quick walk around of the vehicle. Then when we we'll get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest as we use them to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop. We'll give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what prepared to do to them prior to sale now we're getting back around to the start we're going to zoom back in and we'll look at the car panel by panel starting at the near side front so the near side front wing looks in good condition near side front door and near side rear door are good both got one small pin dent in them and the near side rear quarter looks good near side front alloy nice condition alloy one or two age related marks they are edge but no major damage near side front tires approximately three or four mil moving down the near side to the near side rear alloy Another nice condition alloy, one or two age related marks, but no major damage. Near side rear tire, approximately five or six mil. Looking back down the near side now, making sure we haven't missed anything. Rear quarter is good. Both near side doors, again, are good. Just one pin dent in either of both doors. Uh, and the near side front wing looks good. Moving around the rear of the car now. We're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. Rear bumper looks in good condition. Lower plastics look good. Very slight superficial damage just to the lower part of the bumper there and then one or two age related marks along the loading area will get buffed up and touched in the best we can tail lights and tailgate looks in good condition rear screen looks good with a factory privacy glass and along the roof lining looks in good condition as well looking down the offside of the car now from rear to front offside rear quarter looks good both offside doors look good and the offside front wing looks good Offside rear alloy, another nice condition alloy, one or two age related marks but no major damage and the offside rear tyre, approximately 5 or 6 mil. Moving down the offside panel work now, all looks okay. Offside front alloy, another nice condition alloy, one or two age related marks but no major damage. Offside front tyre, approximately 4 mil. Very, very light superficial scuff for us to buff up and touch it on that offside front wing there. Looking back down the offside, making sure we haven't missed anything. Front wing looks good, both doors look good and the rear quarter looks good as well moving around the front of the car now we're going to check out all lights and grills and the front bumper itself as you can see all lights and grills look good and as for the front bumper for the age and mileage of the car looks in good condition as well one or two light marks for us to polish up and touch in the best we can but other than that looks in good condition the final panel to look over is the bonnet if we get nice and low you can see the condition of the panel is good can't see any major dents or scratches or anything like that. Paint will looks okay. But again, with a car of this age mileage, you expect one or two light stone chips along the front. We'll get these touched in with the Ford Panther Black. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. No major damage to the screen. Can't see any large chips or cracks. We've got a couple of light surface markings, but other than that, it looks good. Now we're going to make our way through the interior. Starting in the boot. Decent size boot on these Fords, you've got 60-40 split folding rear seats, all carpets and plastics other than light wear and tear look in good condition. That's all shelf is present and looks in good okay condition. And then all the plastics underneath the boot would look good too. Moving through the rear, the offside rear door cab looks good. There you have the full cloth rear bench, three factory headrests, three three-point seat belts, ice fix fittings to both outer seats, no excessive wear to the seats, headliner throughout looks good, backs of both front seats look good and the rear carpets look good as well. Moving through the front, the front door cards look good, front carpets are good, and there you have the front two-tone cloth interior, bolsters still firm, holding their shape, no excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no cigarette burns, passenger seats just as nice, there's no signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. Well, so we'll start the car up, running through as much of the spec as we can. So we've got front electric windows with electronic adjustable side mirrors. Light controls just to the right of the steering wheel there. Moving to the centre console, we've got a USB and auxiliary port at the back, two usable cup holders, manual handbrake, 12 volt socket, six speed manual transmission, front and rear heated screens, uh, air conditioning and recirculation. Obviously MMI controls, we're going to run through these the best we can. So we do have DAB and FM radio. Uh, as we've already been over, we've got auxiliary and USB, CD player and Bluetooth connectivity, uh, along with full telephone prep. And then back over to the driver's side, we'll finish off with this multi-function steering wheel. And this car is on 91,885 miles when it focuses. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock, please give us a call on 01724 876 555. Thanks again.